Several states across the nation are climbing aboard to support the propane bus movement. However, Kentucky is falling behind and missing the bus. Crittenden County has chosen to take action. Crittenden County was the first, was the first, was the first. Crittenden County was the first to own a propane bus. The Crittenden County Board of Education has a set of big six overarching goals for the school district. One of those big six goals is to be as efficient as possible with all resources provided to the school district. And as an outgrowth of um, setting goals toward um, achieving that, we began um, a real high functioning energy management team. And that group began to meet and talk about how could we be more efficient how do we effectively use the resources that we have already? What are some new avenues that we can take to um, look at new opportunities to be efficient in our use of resources? It actually began with uh, Bill Asbridge, uh, who is a board member that brought the idea of a uh, propane bus. And His father began using propane years ago on their farm. And uh, Bill said, you know, I keep hearing about propane buses. Why can't we consider that? We researched alternative fuels. We looked at um, other states and other school districts that were utilizing alternative fuel in their school buses. When we hired Wayne Winters a couple years ago, um, he started researching the idea and Wayne didn't take no for an answer. And so um, he kept on with the transportation department and uh, they finally agreed to meet. And we uh, put together a presentation for the Department of Transportation at the Kentucky Department of Education and received an okay from them to pilot the first propane fueled school bus um, in the state of Kentucky. It is the first and the only in uh, the state of Kentucky. So, uh, you know, it's a big deal for Crittenden County. Up to last summer, there were no specifications um, in any of the transportation manuals to even allow this type of alternative fuel to be used um, for transporting students until the Crittenden County team met with the individuals at the Kentucky Department of Education last year and, and, and again made the case for how safe propane fueled buses are for the cost efficiency, for the safety ratings, um, and, that, and that there was a district in the state that was willing and had the um, commitment of the Board of Education, the superintendent, the individuals that would be needed to uh, provide maintenance on this bus um, to make it work in our school district. Since the tragic bus crash in 1988, safety has been a lingering concern throughout the state. Before piloting the program, the Crittenden County School District conducted extensive research concerning the design of propane buses to ensure the safety of students and provide peace of mind for the community. The reason Kentucky doesn't it didn't have any propane buses until this first one in Crittenden County was safety. A propane engine is spark ignited like a gasoline engine. A diesel engine, all the buses we have now, are not spark ignited. They were considered to be more safe since they're not spark ignited. But research technology has improved the safety of propane powered vehicles so much. I was astounded when I began to do research and to see if propane truly is safe. The research that we that we gathered on uh, propane buses was that it was just as safe as a diesel bus. Its safety rating is extremely high. This is a 2014 Bluebird propane powered bus that we recently acquired. And again, when you raise the hood, you'll see some similarities, but yet it's quite different. Uh, 
this is the V10 propane powered Roush engine. Uh, when you get to looking, uh, you don't see the turbo system set up on this one like you do the diesel motor. Uh, one of the things that sticks out is a uh, uh, really, really pretty uh, rocket blue aluminum fuel rail that's designed for propane injection. Um, that's a totally different setup than we have on the diesel buses. Um, again, some of the similarities, of course, is your breather, washer fluid, radiator, uh, heater hoses, um, just the basic stuff. One of the things this bus has uh, that the, the diesel engines do not have, this one has the air compressor that is belt driven, where our diesel buses have a uh, gear driven air compressor. So uh, one of the few differences you'll see if you just look in real quick to, to see that motor. So there's many safety features on the bus. The center frame housed fuel tank, um, and that fuel tank is made out of a material that's much thicker than a gas or diesel bus would have. The tanks that are on propane buses are all made of carbon steel that is 20 times as puncture resistant as a tank that is on a gasoline or diesel powered bus. Uh, it has to meet another set of standards by the Propane Association um, to be allowed to even run that tank in an automobile or, or uh, for fuel on the road. So. Um, it's much thicker, much more puncture resistant, uh, which makes it much safer to operate. Carbon steel, 20 times as puncture resistant as what would be on a diesel bus. So in an accident, to me, that translates to 20 times as safe. Uh, the other thing is the propane has a much higher flash point uh, than the gas or, or diesel, so uh, that in itself is a little safer to operate as well. Truly the only difference in this bus and the bus we would have bought if it had been diesel powered is the motor and the propane tank. Everything else is the same. Kentucky has the same exact safety standards for these doors, those seats, the total bus package for every bus they make. We have a minimum specification chart. That's what the manufacturers go by. So there's not going to be a huge safety difference whether this bus was diesel or propane from the standpoint of the body and chassis. The only differences between this bus and a diesel, again, is just the engine and the fuel that it runs on. The exhaust of the bus is clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. The exhaust from the bus is clean, clean, clean. Not only does the propane bus impact the school district, but also the community as a whole by improving air quality and contributing to a cleaner, healthier environment. It's, it's amazing the benefits for a propane fueled bus. Um, you know, one obvious benefit is that it is just such a clean burning fuel. Um, you know, there are no emissions when you utilize a propane fueled bus. It's the only bus that we've got that's actually clean enough on the emissions that I would eat in front of the exhaust. Uh, the bus is running, so I have a bag of popcorn. What a lot of people don't think about is thousands of people across America ate off of the emissions and fumes of propane yesterday. You wouldn't think about it, but as you go out and light that gas grill that's fueled by propane, the emissions, the exhaust from that gas comes right up through your food as you cook it. The same exhaust as we have off this propane powered bus. It's better for the environment, it's better for air quality, um, because it is so clean burning. The cost of the fuel is cheap, 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 cheap. The cost of the fuel is cheap, 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 less than diesel fuel. During this time of budget cuts and economical struggle, cost effectiveness is always a major concern for any school district. Bringing this new 2014 Bluebird propane powered bus into the Crittenden County 
uh, fleet of buses is going to allow us to save approximately $5,280 this year in fuel savings alone, according to our stats that we had the first two months of this bus being in service. Propane right now is about half as expensive per gallon as diesel fuel. So run the numbers. The numbers uh, have turned to be quite impressive the first two months of service. Um, we are looking at about 23 cents a mile to operate this bus uh, versus two of the other bus we're studying along with this one and the diesels are costing us about 56 cents a mile to operate. So uh, based on a 16,000 mile route like this bus is on, we're looking right now the way the numbers are going at about a $5,280 savings per year. But one of the great things about propane is, is it burns so clean that the bus itself doesn't have the maintenance issues that a diesel powered bus does. So that saves us money as well. And so all of those things um, benefit not only the school district, but you know any cost savings from a propane fueled uh, bus can then go right back into the cost for student learning and teaching and learning. Come on y'all, let's ride the bus! The Crittenden County School District chose to pilot a propane bus because of its cleanliness, cost effectiveness, and safety. As a whole, the district encourages others to climb aboard to form their own propane programs to move the educational transportation system in the state of Kentucky forward. The Crittenden County School District is paving the way for other districts in the state. I think it's great that uh, the Crittenden County Schools are being um, efficient with our resources, which includes um, how we handle transportation. And I think that it is a model for other school districts to follow. And I believe that, you know, we're kind of ushering in a new era. 30, 40 years from now, when students here have children going to Crittenden County, then they can say that, that uh, people across the state, and there's a lot of propane buses out there that that Crittenden County was the first to have a propane bus, and I think that's a tremendous uh, statement to make. Well, we've collected approximately two months worth of data, and Wayne Winters is collecting data for uh, the Kentucky Department of Education on mileage, maintenance cost, um, um, how, how it's running on the routes, um, just all kinds of data points that are being collected right now, and, and at this point, some of the numbers that we are getting are even more positive than um, our early projections. And so the data uh, just two months in is really uh, going to help, I think, to uh, build the case that this propane-fueled school bus is the way to go. We want to do a good job, not just for Crittenden County, but for our state as a whole, so that we can, as a state, become more resource efficient. They're getting interest right now across the state from other districts that uh, that will want propane buses, simply because of you know the last six years we we've had budget cuts across the state in education, and so uh, transportation is one of the major um, the major sources of. Um, of resources that are being used, so um, that, that's one way that we can do it. So if you're talking about four or five thousand dollars a year per bus, it, it's a significant savings. Those numbers are part of what has led to the opportunity to Crittenden County to add uh, a few more propane-fired buses to our fleet. Uh, KDE has uh, given us a green light to uh, put a few more propane-fired buses on this pilot program. So um, they're trying to get a little bit broader area of coverage on uh, routes and miles and that again will allow them to get more data uh, to reinforce and assure them that uh, propane powered buses in Kentucky is the right answer. Don't miss the bus. Propane is the future.